Hello, everyone. During this demo, we are going to look into Dynamics 365 for customer service. And more specifically, we want to look into the feature of entitlements. Uh, an entitlement can be seen as a service contract that you have signed with a specific customer and which translates into uh, the number of cases he's entitled to to be handled within a specific pricing that you agreed, for example. So let's have a look at Dynamics 365 for customer service here. Uh, we are looking at the tier one dashboard, which means it's an overview of uh, cases that you are handling, that you are trying to solve, and um, communication with your customer all around those cases. But for the entitlements demo, let's have a look at the support mailbox, where in this case, we have uh, an issue coming in. There's a user that cannot log in. Uh, the email is sent by a person named Rob Hufschmidt. And Rob Hufschmidt is someone that we know because he works at Seika Business Solutions. So I read through the email and I do understand that there is an issue that we need to resolve. So what we will do is we are going to uh, create a case and we will not assign the case uh, to Rob Pushmit as a person, but we will assign the case to Sigeka Business Solutions as a company. There we go. And then uh, next, what we will do is we can identify what kind of uh, question we received. Is this a, a problem? Is this a query? Are they requesting service from our side? Um, so let's select here as an example that it's uh, around maintenance and I'll convert my case. And then in a bit, you will see that the case is being created that we can uh, use to follow up on the customer request. Let's give that a second. Here we are. And so what we can see here is that we have created a case that was based on an email sent by Rob Hufschmidt. It is linked to company Seika Business Solutions. So we have their contact details to uh, easily contact them. Um, and then here on the left hand side, you can see that we have some information about the case, the case title, which was the subject of the email. We get a reference ID that we can use for uh, communication in a later phase. Also the subject that we indicated. Uh, we could also here indicate who the contact person was that reached out to us. So that was Rob Hufschmidt. And then the case came in through email, right? So that was the uh, the origin. Uh, we could also specify a specific product uh, that we know. So let's see, NMX 365 customer engagement. That's what they have a problem with. And we can add some free text as a description. Um, so that's the information about the case. Let me save that for a second. And then at the right hand side, uh, what we see here is that the, as a LA lake kicks in. So we have, uh, a first response in SLA, which will help us to follow up on the timings if we uh, we need to respond within a specific time frame uh, as it was defined in the SLA, then uh, this, this counter here will help us. As soon as you're nearing non-compliance, you can implement uh, reminders or even escalation procedures into the system. Um, but what more specifically is interesting here is that we have entitlements as well. And here we can see that there is uh, a case volume software entitlement, right? So uh, the customer Sega is entitled to service requests. And we can see here that there's a remaining uh, term. There are 20 cases actually that are still on the entitlement contract. So uh, let's have a look um, at what is on the contract here. And this is the uh, entitlement. So it's sort of the contract that you have uh, with your customer. Uh, again, the title of your contract, uh, the company that it is for, a start date and an end date. And then um, there is also uh, a condition here that says restrict based on entitlement terms. So that means that if you as a, as a customer um, are out of the number of cases that we can solve for. So here in this case, you're still entitled to 20 uh, cases. Um, once we, we pass that limit, it will not be able to uh, open a ticket anymore for that customer, right? So that's the restriction here. Um, we can also apply uh, different types of SLAs depending on the entitlement. So that means that if you are a high priority customer, uh, a different SLA can kick in and the SLA you uh, define its configuration into the system.
Um, and then here, the entitlement terms, they define uh, what you're actually entitled to. So here we have uh, entitlement terms regarding cases that can be logged. Um, this entitlement term works uh, on the number of cases that you have. We could also work on the hours spent on the cases. So that's a configuration setting that you can have. And then um, the uh, counter here that we have will decrease once we have a, a case that is resolved. So if we identify a case uh, as result, then the counter will um, be changed here. We also have some information on the products that we want to give support to, and we also have uh, our primary contact persons, Rob Pushmit, uh, who was the guy that just sent us the email. So let's go back to the case so that I can show you also what the effect will be once we uh, resolve a specific case. Uh, so this was the case that I just created about a user that cannot log in. Um, let's just quickly um, simulate a case resolution process where I open a specific email here. I insert a template to let the customer know uh, that we are working on their ticket. So it's the case autoresponse email that I will send, where we send an email with the reference number that we just created. Sent. And then with that, uh, I will have sent my first response. So I can tick that box, first response has been sent. And obviously, uh, this will show you that my SLA uh, is going to be succeeded here. So that's a good thing. Then next, what I need to do is uh, I need to know who I'm speaking with and um, who, who I can reach and which company that they're logging the case for and who the person is to contact. So that's something that I've been doing. Uh, and then here we can assign the tickets to a specific uh, agent who needs to resolve the case. Uh, an agent could, for example, make use of a knowledge base article uh, to resolve the case. So in this case, there is a, someone who says that we have a problem with someone uh, who doesn't have access to the system. Well, here we've got some instructions that we can send to him because that's actually it's a training problem. They just need to know how to how to give access to the environment. So let me just send that article to the customer right away. And with that, we have uh, probably resolved our case. And then typically, uh, maybe you make a phone call to see if everything has been done correctly. So there is a follow-up call. Customer said the problem was solved. We can close the case. There we go. And then we can resolve the case. And then with that, um, we should have a resolved case. We can also specify what kind of resolution we gave. It was uh, a knowledge base article. Voila. And as you can see, uh, as we resolved the case, on my entitlement, the counter went down. We went from 20 to 19, which means that if we look back at the entitlement here, we can see that the total terms that we had here uh, was set to 20. And because we resolved a specific case, uh, we are right now at a counter of 19. So I think uh, from an entitlements perspective, uh, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, hopefully it has been insightful and we speak uh, shortly again.